I want people to understand this. Kids, you know Floyd Mayweather. He's been the best pound for pound for a long, unbroken time, right? Mm -hmm. In boxing. And then he put distance between himself and everyone else. He's like this and everyone else is below him. Floyd was in his prime when Roy was in Roy's prime for years and years and years. Not a single person on earth ever even wondered, is Floyd as good as Roy? You understand how good Roy Jones was? It's like when Jordan was in his prime and Shaq was coming up and no one ever asked, is Shaq as good as Jordan? Then the day Jordan retires, Shaq puts that same distance between him and everyone else. That's who Jordan was. That's who Roy was. He put distance between him and Floyd, like Floyd puts more distance even than Floyd puts between him and everyone else. Roy was the best I'd ever seen in person with my own eyes. They couldn't touch with him. Knockout with knockout power. Just go, listen, just go look at old clips of Roy. I'm not talking about from 10 years ago. I'm talking about from 15 years ago. This is how good Roy was. Remember when Mike Tyson knocked out Michael Spinks? Yeah. Kids, this is the distant past. Everyone thought Mike Tyson, they wouldn't say it out loud, but he's going to be the greatest fighter ever. Mm -hmm. He's going to be better than Ali. He's going to be better than Sugar Ray Robert. He's going to be the greatest ever. That's what people were thinking, and the old timers wouldn't say it, but they, everyone was thinking it. If I told you on that night that there is an amateur junior middleweight who is never going to come close to really losing a fight, should want a gold medal, got ripped off, win titles at middleweight, super middleweight, jump up to he light heavyweight, jump up to heavyweight, Against John Ruiz. beat a top five heavyweight, and one day open two to one to beat Mike Tyson, you would say, that, that's not possible. You're describing the best fighter ever. That's how we perceived Roy Jones the night he beat John Ruiz. This guy may challenge Sugar Ray Robinson for the number one pound-for-pound -pound spot of all time.